Hello friends, this video on sorting materials into groups part 7 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. The next thing that we are going to talk about is flotation in water. Now, since we are talking about insoluble substances, now those of substances which do not dissolve completely in water, two things can happen to them. Either they settle at the bottom or they remain on the surface. So if they remain on the surface, we say that the object is floating. So think of a paper boat on water. So when you put a paper boat on running water, what happens? The boat always remains on the surface of the water and it keeps moving with the water. So we say that the boat is floating. Whereas if you throw a stone into water, what happens? It doesn't float with the water. It goes inside. So it basically sinks. So the insoluble substances we saw that either they settle at the bottom that is they sink or they remain on the surface that is they float. So again some substances float in water whereas some other substances sink in water. Now let's look at the objects which float in water. So some of the common examples are uh, the mustard oil. Uh, you think of wood. So both solids and liquids can float on water. So if you take a plank of wood, you put it into the river, it doesn't sink, it doesn't go into the bottom of the river, it remains on the surface and it keeps floating. You think of balloons. So if you put balloons, in fact the uh, balls also which you generally find near the sea beach areas. So these kind of balloons, they also float on the surface of water. A lot of uh, Plastic toys, they also made up of rubber. So the rubber toys, they also tend to float on water. The feather being very light, it also floats on water. So these are some examples of objects which float on water. On the other hand, there are objects which sink. The best example would be coins made up of metals. Uh, you think of uh, marbles, they also sink in water. Think of stones or pebbles, they sink in water. You think of any metal objects, most of the metal objects they sink in water like a, a metal key or a metal nail. So all these tend to sink in water. Now a question that might bother you is why some objects float while others sink? What is the reason behind floating or sinking? So the main reason behind is density. Now what is density? So density is nothing but mass per unit volume of any object. Now I hope all of you know mass. What is mass? Okay. So and volume. So density is mass per unit volume. So do all those objects whose density, if density of the object is less than the density of water, then the object would float. So if density of object is less than density of water, then the object would float. And if the density of object is more than the density of water, then the object will sink. So basically the, the object with lower density will remain on the top. So here you take example of the iron nail. So when you think of the iron nail, its density is more. That is why it sinks. Now, when you think of the paper boat, its density is less. That's why it floats. Now you might ask me that, okay, so you are saying that the iron nail would sink because its density is more but what about the big ships which ship which are made up of iron so the ship body is also made up of iron so how do they sail on the water so that's because so that that's an interesting thing to know now the body of big boats or ship they are also made up of iron but the design of the ship is done in such a way that the overall density of the uh, ship is less than the density of water. So how can the design control the density? Because the design can control the area and volume of the ship. So by controlling the area and volume, you can actually manipulate the density. And that's how the, that, that is why you would have seen that uh, ship or boats, they have a specific shape and that's how they are able to, uh, you know, travel through water. So that the density is the main concept behind flotation of objects. So, so that, that is why some objects float while other objects sink. Thank you. Please visit www.examfear.com to watch more educational videos with a better experience. Please do not forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for latest updates. Thank you once again.